Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you what I do with my leftovers. So last night I had chicken fajitas and I have some chicken left over that I've shredded up. I'm going to take two crescent roll dough triangles. They're a little tricky to get apart. A little tip for you, keep them in the refrigerator till you're actually ready. Otherwise they get a little hard to work with. We're going to overlap those two triangles and pinch that seam together so the stuff doesn't ooze out when you're cooking it. I'm going to take a nice little dollop of my chicken, about two tablespoonfuls worth, and put it on one half of the crescent roll dough. To that, I'm going to add some taco sauce. Now, I'm a wimp. <laughs> I like mine mild, but if you want to kick it up a notch or two, go right ahead. About a tablespoonful of that taco sauce. Then we're going to get ourselves some shredded cheese. I'm using a four cheese Mexican blend, but you could use whatever you like. We're going to add about a tablespoon of that to the top of everything, and we're going to fold that dough over. And then you're going to pinch it closed, and then we're going to come back with a fork and crimp that shut. I just want to say there are so many versions of this. If you're not big into, you know, the taco seasoning and everything, you can just take your chicken, uh, any kind of chicken shredded. You can add some barbecue sauce, ranch, bacon. There are so many options. You could do this with beef. Um, we're going to take that fork, we're going to crimp everything close so nothing goes leaking out of there. There we go. I like to put mine in my air fryer. It gets a little bit crispier, but you can just follow the package directions for your crescent roll dough and do it in your oven. I like to set mine to super crispy, so we're going to put it in my air fryer and we're going to set that bad boy to 400 degrees. We're going to put it in that oven for about 10 minutes. We're going to flip it over halfway through so you have a nice crispiness all the way around. might seem like a little bit of extra work, but these are totally worth it. They come out super crispy in my air fryer, but they come out just as nice in the oven. Nice golden flaky deliciousness. I like to serve mine with this avocado, avocado <laughs> dip I make. Um, one avocado. I'm going to mash that up really good. And then we're going to take a lime. I'm going to roll that out to get the juices flowing. If you don't have a lime, you can use lemon. The purpose of the lime, not only does it add a nice flavor, but it also keeps your avocado from browning. So I don't have one of those fancy, you know, juicer contraptions. I just use my thumb. I'm going to squeeze it over my palm to catch any pulp or seeds. Keep that from going in there. You squeeze out one half of that lime. You do not need a whole lime. Mix it together really well. And then we're going to add some sour cream to it. I use about two good dollops worth be quarter cup, a little bit more. I'm gonna mix that together with our avocado that we've mashed. It just gives it a nice, light, fluffy consistency. You still have that nice avocado taste. It's just really good. Now to that, we're going to add ourselves some salt. You can add pepper, um, whatever spices that you normally like to add to, you know, like let's say your guacamole. I, of course, love me some garlic, so I'm going to add some garlic to this. You could do fresh, that's fine. I don't got time for that. I just buy that big old Costco jar full of the already, you know, crushed up garlic and add it to it. To me, it all tastes the same. I know people say fresh is better, but this is just easier. I'm about easy. So yeah, uh, about a teaspoonful. You could do more if you like, but, you know, you don't want to breathe on anybody the rest of the day. <laughs> We're going to mix that in really well. And then, there you go. I made little mini ones too. 